All right, evening, folks. This uh, will be as short as I can keep it. This is by special request from Iron Bones Nine. Basically, he wanted me to show off um, the SP Recovery 99.3B ROM custom install feature, as opposed to the Nandroid backups that we're all used to seeing lately. Um, this provides a way for you to pick certain options, apps, and whatnot that you do or don't want in the ROM as you're installing. So before it even boots for the first time, it is something different for you according to what you want. Um, always a good idea to wipe factory or wipe data factory uh, reset before you do anything with a new ROM, unless you have a really good reason to keep it. Like if you're upgrading a ROM that lets you keep your data partition, you probably don't want to do that. Um, that's not the case for this ROM, for sure. Especially since I've been running the betas of the new Zoostroid ROM. So once that's done, you can go all the way down to the bottom here where it says install. By the way, I'm using a new camera tonight, so I'm going to be zooming in and out a little bit here and there. Hopefully this thing will focus uh, along with the work, or along with the zoom. I don't know, I don't like the way that looks. Give me a second. Ta-da! Alright. Nice little Sony HDV cam. So, anyway, select install. And this will show you a list, in theory. Yeah, this will show you a list here in a second of all of the files in the root of your SD card that have dot rom.tgz. When you download, you have to be careful. Some browsers like to change those extensions on you and it'll screw it all up. Very first option, choose ROM from SD card. And there we go. Smoked glass v501.rom.tgz. That's the one we're going to go with right now. Refocus, make sure you can read that. So I'm just going to pick that one, and it's going to begin. Oh, it begins by doing a default backup. Okay, and that's the magic of video. So I'm going to zoom out and reposition here. Done with an Android backup. should just be able to see their decompressing ROM and down at the bottom there's a little status bar. That was probably another good 45 seconds. In real time, not magic video time. So I did wiping system, now it's extracting system tar. And now I'm being given an option. I'm going to go ahead and adjust and refocus here so you guys can see this very clearly. Because that's what this is all about. Let's see if I can even do that a little better. Okay, so I can do smoked glass full theme or smoked glass only no blue. And literally just using a little volume button over here to select. I'm going to go ahead with do the full with blue because I love Adam's these blue smoked glass ROM. And let's see now. Make sure you guys can see all this. Got no keep all data, yes, wipe data, all app user info, or yes, but keep apps. Redownload paid apps. So if you were upgrading from one of Adam's other um, ROMs, you would just do the no keep all data. Um, in my case, I don't think it matters because I got nothing on here. Wipe all data. Yeah, I'm going to tell it to wipe everything just to be on the safe side, make sure there's nothing left over. And I'm going to make sure it wipes the cache also. It's giving me that option. And then it's prompting me for a white clock and notification or the blue clock and notification. I actually like the white clock. Stock Android font or the Droid style font. You know what? I haven't even tried the Droid style font, believe it or not. So we'll go with that one. Q 
keep current boot image. Wi-Fi may not work. Uh, I think by current it means whatever the heck you just happen to have. Or I can go the 250 to 800 with 9 steps or the 250 to 1.1 with 9 steps. Well, I know my phone will work up to 1.1. Oh, you know what? Here it looks like you can pick specific applications. I don't like the old lock screen. I don't know what the vibrate hack is. So you got keyboard with speech recognition, desk clock, music apps, news. I'm I'm just gonna give you another little view of this, but honestly, the options you can see for yourself if you try Adam's ROM, the point here is that you have so many options. So there you go. lots and lots of apps. So when you're done there, you go up to the top and you say finished. Wiping data, wiping entire cache. It's like it's, install it's installing all the specific applications that I've selected. Removing some others and I'm back to the install screen so now I'm just going to back up and reboot So that was Adam's blue eye, and then the Nexus animation. And there we have it. Adam's droid enhanced. Now you just saw this is first boot right off the line. Two inches of analog clock, don't know what that's about. Let's see. It's all 3G, no Wi-Fi. It's got it. I'm just not using it. Not sure if this is a multi-touch browser, so I'm trying to find out here. Well, anyway, folks, we're about out of time. I hope you enjoyed that. Um... If you're wondering about the change in the camera, it's because the 720p was just a little too much. Files were huge and took forever to upload, but I didn't want to drop down to VGA, so this is 1080i on a camcorder, so hopefully it works out better. We'll see. Take care until next time.